I'm Detective Miller. I understand you have some information regarding a missing person. Why don't you tell me who you're talking about? Trent Tyler. The author? He's been missing for about a year now, right? And you know what happened to him? I killed him. All right. Let's start at the beginning. Why don't you tell me what happened? Trent was my brother-in-law. A couple of months after he married my sister, I started seeing bruises on her body. Don't tell me to shut up! I tried for years to get her to leave him, but no matter how many times I tried, she wouldn't. I know she always lied about what was happening, but I knew. I knew. <laughs> One night, she calls me, and I know it's happening again. So I drive over there. Tina, this has to stop. Something has to be done about it. I'll be fine. I'm not letting you go back in there with him. Let it go! Just, just take me back to your house for tonight. After with the late shift tonight. Call me if you need anything. Now at that point, I wasn't even thinking. You were just being a good brother. I know this is difficult. Your sister is the one who reported him missing. Did she know? No. No, she, she didn't know. So you never told her? She thinks he just left. I have to ask. What'd you do with him? Can you show me where? Mark, they dug where you told them to. There's nothing out there. Are you sure this is it? Yes, absolutely. We use dogs. There's no grave, no body, no evidence. No, it was right there. I know, it was right there. We'll call you if we find anything. One of the officers will drive you to your car. You can go home now. What? You're not gonna arrest me? 
As far as we know, you haven't done anything. A confession is not enough. I killed him. I am telling you, I killed him. Like, I can't live with this anymore. Do you understand? I killed him. You know, I'm here for you, whenever you're ready to talk. You always took care of me. Now it's my turn to take care of you. I've got to get something out of the back. Oh, I'll get it. Sin and you 